I think overall this program mean offers everything. When you're learning nephrology, um, one of the most important things is to have a diverse patient population with a variety of diseases. Many of the important things that you learn to be a nephrologist are things like dialysis, uh, acute kidney injury, electrolyte disorders. Uh, but sometimes it's the more unusual aspects or the newer aspects of nephrology, I think, that can set one program away uh, from another. One of the biggest things about the Brown Nephrology Program was it's a, it's a very strong clinical program, and that was something I was looking for. You'll have all the tools that you need to be a competent uh, nephrologist when you're done with the Brown Program. The mentors that you make here, the faculty, they're fantastic, very supportive. There's a good balance. Uh, I've never felt like I was uh, it was too heavy on the work side and not enough on the education side, so great balance. We're proud of our program. We've been uh, programmed since the mid-1960s for more than 50 years. Uh, many of us are graduates of the training program and I think that makes a big difference. It's extremely important to me as the division director and to Dr. Robel and to all the faculty to make this the maximally best training program it can be for the trainees that we, uh, that we teach. We have an interventional nephrologist on staff where our, our fellows can practice doing fistulograms and fistula evaluations, which is a new trending field. We have a very successful renal transplant program with two transplant nephrologists and uh, two transplant surgeons that our fellows uh, highly value that experience. The best thing I like about this program is probably everyone is equal. When you start your fellowship here, the junior faculty, senior faculty, they all treat you as their colleague. The faculty here, everyone's very well connected and um, you can do a lot of things if you want to do another fellowship after this in transplant or interventional nephrology, something else. We have a lot of connections that you can make while you're here in order to set that up and facilitate. Really anything that you're looking for, I think you can get here, which is a big reason why I chose to come. We've had a really good track record of job placement. Um, you know, I survey all of our graduate, graduating fellows um, one in five years after they leave just to see what, what their experience was like. Are they happy with the training they received here? Um, what, would they, what do they wish we, they would, we, that we had done differently? Um, and they all give uniformly positive feedback about the experience here. We have excellent uh, placement, I think, about um, Half of our graduates will choose to go into private practice, you know, between 30 and 40 percent will go into academic positions, and then we do have graduates who go on for additional training in, for example, transplant nephrology or critical care, which we've had um, graduates go to. Here, clinical nephrology is at the forefront. It's not, it's not, the, um, it's not the choice that people make if they don't um, choose to be in a lab. We have a very, very diverse patient population, people of all ages, and uh, that also translates to a very, very diverse patient population in in terms of the illnesses that we see. When fellows finish here, um, they've seen just about everything that's possible to be seen in clinical nephrology. We're very proud of our international programs. Um, I think they're pretty unique among nephrology training. We can send our fellows to a program in Kenya, and we also have a sister center program in China where during their second year, our fellows can uh, travel for a two-week educational experience and experience nephrology in another part of the world. There's some specialty clinics and things that make Brown a little bit unique. There's a great exposure to interventional nephrology if that's something that you're interested in. I went to Kenya with another one of my co-fellows last year and uh, we get some great hands-on experience being in, you know, a, a third world area that doesn't have a lot as far as resources go in the area we were in. I think we have a very good work and life balance here. All of the fellows in our program, they are happy. But I think Rhode Island, although small, it has a lot to offer and um, you know, we're conveniently located, you know, between Boston and New York. It's very easy to get to either one if you really need uh, the big city or metropolitan kind of lifestyle. It's not hard to get to, but I think Rhode Island itself and Providence has a lot to offer. We're big on food, and I highly recommend anyone that comes here to head out to some of the restaurants. You can get anywhere in pretty much 20 minutes, which is fantastic. You can get to the beach, you can go hiking, you can even get skiing, maybe not the best skiing in the area, but you can get skiing if you want to in less than an hour. So there's so much to offer here. Um, and I think, you know, being here, they definitely take that into account. You get some time to yourself to explore a little bit, which I think is really important. We have two kids and uh, they enjoy here. And there are plenty of outdoor activities and beaches like not very far from our house, so 
uh, it, this place has uh, plenty to offer. All of our graduates also keep track of us, so if they are hiring, they typically will call me as the program director and you say, hey, do you have any good graduates coming up? You know, our practice is going to be expanding. You're going to be spending two years of your life here, so I think it is important to be in a place that's comfortable to live, that's uh, affordable, and that's, uh, and that's sort of a dynamic and exciting place to be. Most people think of Rhode Island as a place that they might be passing through, you know, on the, on the 95 corridor between Boston and New York. Uh, but once you stop here and you get to see, you know, what an amazing uh, diversity of experiences you have here. I think with the, with the universities and the artists um, and the musicians and the, and the cooks, I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. Some of the important factors you should be looking for is a place that you fit in, a welcoming environment where you're going to be able to learn and make great connections and have a great overall experience, I think we can definitely offer that.